Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back one more time to uh, TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name's Mark Love. Today, I'm going to be walking around a 2020 Dutch Star 4369. And no, I'm not just redoing the video Todd did four or five days ago. This is the second uh, used 2020 Dutch Star we got in with the same floor plan. But I like this one better, both the colors and the options that they chose inside, and I'll talk about that as we go around. So let's go ahead and get started with the outside. First of all, take a look at the awnings. These are the Gerard roof mount awnings. Uh, they come out, they articulate down, cover the whole side of the coach. Uh, it also has the window awning package on this unit. Just makes for a really nice space when you're out here watching the game or hanging out with friends. Uh, couple of things I always like to point out. First of all, great grab handle here, very heavy duty, uh, keyless entry. As we move down, uh, there's a fuel line right here, and that fuel line's a rubber, heavy duty rubber hose going into the tank, but Numar protects it with this steel plate that you see right here. Not something that a lot of manufacturers give you, so that maybe is an important thing to check out. You'd hate to blow a tire and, and have that end up shredding your uh, fuel line. Come back to this first compartment and we've got the Dometic refrigerator freezer. This is nice because oop, it pulls out all the way. Uh, if I had the slide out, it would be sticking out about yay far, but you can open this up all the way, even with the slide out. You can set it you know, for your drinks. If you're coming back from Alaska with a bunch of salmon, you can freeze it in there. Just a really nice feature. This is one of the things I was talking about. I like the way they set this one up a little better. And I'm gonna open all three of these compartments and explain why. When you put these slide trays in, you notice you lose a few inches on the side you lose a couple of inches in height here so when you put all three slide trays in there you've taken up a lot of usable space to have the one full pull out slide through slide tray that goes all the way through is convenient especially with your uh, winter items or or this time of the year maybe you're putting your summer items in the middle breaking out your winter clothes as it starts to get colder i like having the tray but then with the other two compartments being wide open you can see how much room you've got there and while we're right here good good place to talk about the star foundation now Numar's strong true and robust foundation that's what star stands for that's what you see here with these uh these gussets they they weld this frame onto the chassis and one of the nice features if you look up here at the floor joists you notice they're not riding on the chassis rails what that means is you're not going to get as much twisting or movement in that floor as you go down the road and hit the big potholes. So you're not going to be cracking tiles and popping grout and things like that. Another nice feature, if you open one door, LED lights for the whole compartment comes on. Well, we're back in this compartment too. You notice it's got the, uh, the central vac. You can bring your hose and uh, attachments out and clean out your uh, compartments. And then over here on the left, uh, you've got a couple of slide room controllers. Now, most people, uh, you know, don't have the electronic knowledge that, say, our tax or Bill Habercorn, our, uh, our technical advisor, does. But what I've heard them say, and I know this is true because I've done it, if you have a slide room that doesn't seem to be coming out, you can't figure out what it is, you weren't having any problems, you seem like you've got enough power, if you come and unplug that and just kind of let it reset for 10 or 15 seconds, plug it back in, nine times out of 10, that takes care of the problem. If you do need to make an adjustment, if your slides get a little bit out of adjustment, there are uh, panels up here underneath. You can lay down, get one of the uh, Numar techs on the phone, their advisor, or possibly call Bill if you need some help, and they can walk you through resetting them right here. Okay, this compartment's just 
pegboard, there's a little bit of uh, storage for oil and stuff like that, but there's a water compartment back there. Another thing, uh, if you look at the hubs here and you notice two different hubcaps, this tells you that it's a steerable tag axle. Now, this is a 2020 and it's on a Spartan K2 chassis, which means independent front suspension. But you get something like a 12 or 14 degree uh, cant with your wheels when you're turning below 20 miles an hour. It really helps cut down the turning radius. And when you ever see this type of a hub, that lets you know that it's a steerable tag axle. Move back to the rear compartments. You can see we've got our death tank there, probably a 15 gallon on that. We have our starting batteries right here. These are the big 8Ds with your uh, master chassis fuses right there. As we step around the back, as you can see, the K2 uh, Spartan chassis with the 450 Cummins on it. Let me, uh, there we go. So here's your engine and everything is easily accessible. Your transmission uh, dipstick and fill, your engine oil fill here, uh, you've got your Oasis filter over here, the coolant, your air cleaner, you've got your gauge right here and uh, looks like this one's getting a little bit dirty when you push that. You can see how it releases the pressure. That tells you when you need to change your air filter and typically you're going to do that about every two years. Your water separator down here about every three years. Everything's easy to access and the reason is when you get to a Dutch star you get a side radiator so you don't have it right here in your way. Down below we have 15,000 pound rated hitch. We have our seven-way plug and then we also have our airline here for your Air Force One setup. Great looking rear cap too. You can see we've got the 360 cam. There's a camera right here. There's also one all the way up. You have a couple on the uh, side. So you can actually get a 360 view of your coach all the way around. Moving down the side here, you can see our radiator. Side radiators give you much better cooling. We have another place where we can fill our def right over here. Get a little cubby hole here for gloves or, you know, I suppose if you had a sewer hose or something, you could put it in there. You'll find something to put in there, I assure you. Uh, while I've got the slides in, and, and I did that so I can show you what it's like when they're closed inside, but it's a good place to talk about Numar's flush wall slide. You can see it right here. This piece of fascia tucks inside the sidewall. So as the wind or the rain is coming from the front as you drive down the road, it's not forcing itself down in there by your weather seal. It makes for a quieter ride. You don't hear the wind noise and you don't get the leaks around it with a, with a flush slide like this. Over here we have our water compartment. As you can see, this unit has the macerator. You can also dump it traditionally if you want to use the gravity drain. Have an extra water filter here, and this is your uh, power uh, water hose reel. Uh, outside shower, you've got your Sanicon uh, on and off here, your water pump you can turn on and off, auto fill valves for when you're putting water in it. Just really well thought out, easy to access low point drains and uh, winterizing bypass right here. We're starting to winterize as of October 1st. I guess we're using... We add dye and make our antifreeze a little different color every year so we can tell that we're the ones that uh, winterized it. This is where we've got our 50 amp power cord and this is on a power wine too. And this time of the year, when it starts getting cold, these things can get stiff and be incredibly difficult to, uh, to put away. With the power cord, it makes it very easy. 
and putting that button right here on the door is so nice. It used to be tucked inside here. We also have our uh, surge protector right there with our crossover circuit. And then we have some cable input here, or maybe you want to set up a ground uh, uh, tripod type satellite, run it out away from the coach. Maybe you're by a cliff or under a tree and you don't have good reception. So you can bring all that in right here. This is our Oasis system, and this is a hydronic heater. It burns the diesel from your fuel tank to uh, uh, provide heat for the coach. Uh, your hot water, which is an on-demand system. Now one thing about the Oasis is there's two electric elements and one diesel element. So you can heat your water up faster if you, you know, come out and it's been sitting outside in the winter, and you want to get some heat right away, you can turn on all three elements. Maybe it's only 45 degrees and you don't need to run your diesel. Uh, you can heat it all electrically if you want, but this is a a cleaner, uh, more efficient system than a lot of the hydronic heaters. That's why Numar uses it. Again, the Oasis system, when you know the difference, which is Numar's slogan, that's one of the things they choose to do even though it's more expensive than some of your other systems. Okay, over here you can see we've got the back side of the pullout. While we're right here, get a shot of the awnings. Uh, it's nice to have this awning in particular, especially if you're parked this direction. Late afternoon sun coming from the west here can come in and really heat up your, uh, your table, your dining area and your couch. So this awning gives you just enough shade that you don't get baked on those hot summer afternoons. Then again, this is part of the pass through. And having it open like that gives you more storage. And then this is our battery compartment. If you notice, there are eight six volt AGM batteries. It is on a pull out tray, so when it's time to change them, it's easy to access them. Uh, standard would be four uh, AGM batteries. When I see eight, it tells me it's an all electric coach meaning you've got a residential refrigerator and an induction cook surface. There's no propane on this coach at all. Okay, fuel fill, one on each side, same as your DEF, so it doesn't matter which side of the pump you're pulling up to. And then over here, we've got our chassis circuits. So if, uh, you know, you're your blinker's not working, your seat doesn't seem to be going forward, uh, come check your fuses out here. This is the release for the generator compartment. This does have a 10,000 watt diesel generator with it. And then as we move around, I'll point out you've got your side cameras, but you also have the front camera and a monitor here. This has got the on-guard collision avoidance system, which is a great feature if you're doing a lot of long distance driving on the highway. You can set your cruise control. It'll let you know as you're getting close to traffic in front of you. It'll even slow you down if necessary. Okay, let's take a look at the inside. Now, like I said, I wanted to leave this closed up to show you what it's like to walk through here while you're traveling. You get back to the kitchen area, and there's plenty of room right here. Uh, you can access your refrigerator without any problem. And this half bathroom, they actually put a center hinge on here so it opens all the way. Just some of the nice features when you're traveling that make it easy to access. So let me go ahead and run this out now. And of course, being a 2020, this is what they have mo called more floor. And that has to do with your slide outs. Uh, you notice there's tile on the floor there. They don't have carpet. Very heavy duty system. And when it goes all the way out, it settles down with a flush floor. The rollers aren't even touching the tile underneath it. You can see there's no marks or scrapes along there. And 
and there we go. I'm going to close the door here. It's getting a little chilly today. Okay, this is the 4369 uh, Dutch Star, probably the most popular floor plan in the Dutch Star lineup. Uh, let me point out a few things on the dash here. Uh, let's see. Number one. We do have our, our monitor system and you can go through and select your different views down the side you can uh, that's for your uh, volume there but anyway you can scroll through this menu uh, adjust your brightness adjust your volume you've got cameras all the way around this also uh, like all Numar diesels have what they call their comfort drive steering and uh, I will demonstrate that here now there used to be a dial for your comfort drive. This has now become part of your uh, dash monitor to scroll through and uh, probably in our settings we can uh, right there for comfort drive. So if I want to adjust it up, that's up pretty high right now. That's, that's for more like highway driving. When I'm backing into a, uh, a parking spot, I might want to set this all the way down. Now the beauty of the comfort drive is, as you can see, with one finger, I can turn that all the way. All the weight is on those front tires. We're not on our jack, so you can imagine how hard it is to turn that. And you let go, and it returns to center on its own. The beauty of this is you're really only driving it in one direction, and then it comes back by itself. It's not nearly as stressful on your shoulders and when you're on one of those white knuckle drives, let's say you got an extremely uh, powerful crosswind pushing at you, you're on a crowned road or a real winding road, and the motorhome will tend to wander out of its lane. <coughs> With the comfort drive, they're sensing the torque on the, on the tires and wheels and constantly making adjustments to keep this wheel in the center position going straight down the road. So it's much more comfortable on a long drive uh, a lot less stressful on shoulders and arms and by the time you get to the campground you're not all tensed up from the white knuckle drive. Other than that pretty traditional uh, six-speed Allison transmission over here we have our auto levelers uh, you also notice that we have our engine brake and this is a three-speed engine brake and then uh, also our tag axle, uh, generally you want to keep that on auto. It'll keep it in the up position. When you do go to dump it uh, or level it, uh, you can dump it manually. Also, maybe you're pulling in a garage with a very low header and you only have an inch or so of clearance. You can dump that uh, tag axle, lower the air on your coach, and drive it in. Okay, let's look at some of the storage up here. Of course, all of your... Uh, all your uh, monitors are here in your main systems so if I'm going to turn on my inverter and our, our awnings the Gerards are 110 so we need to have power and that takes a minute here to to fire up oops excuse me there we go and then uh, this is our Oasis system like I said we've got two electric elements one diesel element so it's, it's very fast to heat this coach up. You also have in-floor tile heat that we set in the back. Here is our awnings and our lights. Uh, you can see this has two zones. So uh, put both your awnings out using the, the 110 power. We've got our security lights up here. Outside step, you might want to shut that off at the campground so it's not going in and out all the time. Here is your uh, slide out controls and then your setup here. Over on this side we do have a little bit of storage. And then these are all electric except this one for your screen door. You can pull that down while you're traveling. You also have a blackout shade. The rest of them are MCD power shades throughout. 
Okay, let's move over here and I'll talk about one of the reasons I like this. Not only the colors, I think it's the great color. And this is called the, uh, I, I want to say, Chate yeah, the Chateau Decor. So the lighter colors, uh, the lighter cabinets in here, it's just a great look. And you can get two couches here. You can get the theater seating, which has recliners, but it's all one piece. I like the separate recliners here. And then you have a pullout bed across from you. Uh, right here's my televator button. So when it's time to sit down and watch a little TV, you just pop that up. And again, both of these do have a footrest and recline back quite a ways. Very comfortable seats. And I prefer this setup as opposed to any other that I've seen as far as your, your couches and your uh, living room area recliners and so forth. Let's take a look at these compartments. Now we do have one for our video components normally in the middle, but storage on both sides. Uh, Numar makes all of their cabinetry in the house. This is all solid wood. You don't reach back here and feel a wrap style. This is solid wood cabinetry throughout. And uh, they just do a beautiful job of it with the glaze. And I like the way they kind of offset their cabinets. Uh, it's not just a straight bank going across. So it gives it a real nice look. Over here in the kitchen, we've got more storage. A little area up there for spices or smaller items. And then for uh, ladies that are possibly a little shorter and can't reach the back, you've got a nice pullout in this bottom one. One more storage compartment over here. And then we do have an extension here. Let me find my button. There we go. Give you a little bit extra counter space. A couple of pull-out drawers. And here's all our remotes. Uh, we've got a, a sleep number bed. By the way, here's the one for the MCD shades. As long as I'm here, I will demonstrate right now. This is saying all night shades. So as I put that, you uh, push that, you can see all the way around, my night shades are coming down. I'll put those back up, but you can do the same with your day screens uh, throughout the entire coach. This is our induction cook surface and uh, again this runs off your your 110 so your batteries and your inverter if you're not plugged in or anytime your generator is running you have 110 power one of the nice things is this comes out and you can see you can unplug that take it outside and use it on your uh, picnic table or uh, maybe out under your awning anything that is metallic pan or magnet will stick to it will work with this true induction, and that would include um, your cast iron and stuff like that. And you can see we got some cutting boards on the back. This coach, by the way, has around 17,000 miles, I believe, but it is in beautiful shape. These folks traded for a Prevo, so they, they actually went up, but they took great care of this. Uh, you know, like I say, it's one of the, the most uh, popular floor plans. Here's the storage in the kitchen. All of them are soft closed drawers. Over here at the sink, we've got a double bowl stainless steel undermount sink. Makes it easy to wipe things down and keep it clean. And you have a nice residential sprayer there. And look how deep the counter space is. This is all your manuals back here, by the way. And then here, kind of nice, we've got a couple more pullouts. Place here for a trash can. And if you get a shot over here on the left side, you see some grooves in the back. Those are for your covers if you want to put them back there and slide them in. Okay, across from the kitchen, let's go down the... Uh, the living area and show you the storage. Here we've got four nice cabinets and if you notice 
that's wide open in there. So there's a lot of storage room. And this is deep. You know, it goes all the way into my elbow. It's about 16 inches deep there. Nice hidden hinges. I think they're using Bloom hardware here, so it's got a really clean look to it. Down here we've got another storage drawer and some cup holders right there. We move down to the dinette area. Three more cabinets. Now these aren't quite as deep, but it is open, so you've got a lot of storage there. And this desk setup, a freestanding table, you get a couple of leafs there and two other folding chairs I'll show you under the bed. So you've got plenty of room for four to six people sitting around your dining table. And then of course there is some cabinet storage on both sides. And then you've got storage under here too. Well, kind of hard to see, but I'll open them anyway. Uh, all right, let's keep moving backwards. Uh, right here's our half bathroom. And I'm just going to open up some of these cabinets and let you get in and pan around. Above your toilet, you do have your uh, 110 breakers. Everything's labeled in there. Oh, and also right below the sink, those are the uh, vacuum controls there. You know, the bottom one, as you're sweeping the floor, you sweep it right up to it, just open that bottom latch, and it sucks it right in. Across from the bathroom, we have our residential refrigerator. This is about an 18 cubic foot. So plenty of room in the freezer. Again, this all works off your inverter and your uh, batteries. We have nice pantry area here with full pull-out drawers. Uh, moving back into the bedroom, first of all we've got a nice solid privacy door with the uh, smoke glass in there. Across from the bed we have couple of shirt wardrobes. And then we have five drawers actually and then this compartment is more for your DVD and video players and so forth. But we do have five very deep drawers right here. A couple more on this side and then again more shirt storage or closet uh, wardrobe area. A 43 inch TV here. We have a, another one up front. We have the one outside and then the one in the televator. So four TV total in this one. Look under the bed. You can see we've got our leaves for the table. Those are the vacuum hoses. We've got a couple of folding chairs here. And this is a king bed. One nice thing that Numar does, they give you a pedestal with an outlet. So you've got 110 and USB outlets on both sides of the bed, along with a little bit of storage. And then overhead, good storage throughout. You've got another plug in there and a place you could drop your, your uh, air hose down if you're using an oxygen machine or a sleep apnea machine at night. You can put it at the pedestal or up here. And then we do have, you know, separate reading lights. Uh, we're, oh, 
that's not the one. There we go. Functioning windows on the side also. This is a nice feature. You can open those up and get a breeze drawing through there. Okay, let's go into the bathroom. Now as you step in, we do have a stackable washer and dryer. Looks like they put a hook here for their broom also. Across from the washer dryer is one of the larger showers you're going to get. This is a, uh, a 40 by 54, I believe. Um, one of the nice features about this shower, not only the teak seat, but you have what we call our water miser right here. Uh, what this is, it's a system that designed to circulate your water while you're waiting for it to heat up. So when I'm getting ready to take a shower, I turn it on. The water doesn't come out through the nozzle. It circulates back into the fresh water tank until it's hot. Then the light comes on, indicates you're ready for your shower. You throw this valve. Now the water comes out. What you've done is you've saved fresh water and you've saved room in your gray tank. You're not filling it up while you're waiting for the water to heat up. And then over beside the shower we have our toilet and this is an egress door. So I can pull this panel down, a ladder drops down, makes it much easier to get out in an emergency. Show you your main wardrobe here. You can see there is a safe in there. And there are some removable shelves. They're actually under the bed. So you could have a couple more shelves going across here, or you could use it uh, you know, more for uh, clothes, you know, hanging clothes. Got your shoe rack there. And then over on the left, you can see we've got more place for uh, whatever. Over here we have our double sink. Most of your 43 footers are going to get double sinks. They do have his and her medicine cabinets. Let's see. And then we also have 110 outlets on both sides. Nice bathroom fixtures. Plenty of storage down here also with four nice pull-out drawers. And again, that soft close feature is really nice. One of the things Newmar did in 2016 with their facelift on the Dutch Star is they put in this cathedral type ceiling, this arch ceiling, and you can see how much room you have. If you're 6'4", 6'5", you can still get in this shower and realistically take a shower without having to be hunched over. They also lowered this platform that I'm standing on about an inch and a half, so all in all, it give it about six inches more clearance in the middle of this uh, bathroom here. And then again, the floor you're looking at is a heated floor. Those controls are right over here on a really chilly morning. If you don't have this on, get it on right away. The, the electrical heat grid itself is in the thin set right below this tile. So it's much faster to heat up. You'll feel it on your feet quicker and it cools down quicker. It's not like the hydronic systems, which are under about uh, two inches to three inches of subflooring and your main floor. It's got to heat all that from the bottom up with a coil of a glycol that runs through it and then that's heated up by your aqua hot or your oasis. If you ever have a problem with a heated floor, the electric ones, you can go in right through the top, access that grid and repair it from above, replace your tile and it's seamless. If you have to replace a hydronic unit, you're coming from underneath, and it's very difficult to do. So again, when you know the difference, there's a reason why Numar uses these systems. Well, I think that's all I have for you today. Let me get my contact information. Again, my name's Mark Love. You can get a hold of me 
with my email, this is my work number. My cell phone here is probably the easiest way to get a hold of me. Text or call if you have any questions. Again, this is a 2020 Dutch Star 4369. It's in great shape. The interior is beautiful. I love the colors and the uh, furniture and everything they set up with this coach. So if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Uh, in the meantime, drive careful out there. Winter's on its way, folks. Hope, uh, hope you've got your plans made. And uh, happy trails. We'll see you next time.